This video is by Mark Kingston from the ARA Institute of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand. Right, so this video here is about how do we determine the cut size for a piece of steel. As an example, I'm going to make a ring, 20 millimeter thick steel, and I want the ring, I'm going to give it a cut size, simply a, I'm going to work out a cut size for 100 millimeters as a diameter, times it by pi, it gives me a cut size for 300 14.2 millimeters. When I go and roll that piece of steel up, I find that my 100 millimeters comes across the mean diameter at this point here, smack in the very center of the piece of steel. So this distance across here, 100 millimeters diameter at that point. Now it's 20 mil thick. Half the piece of steel is on one side, half the other side, with the total distance across this point here being 20 millimetres. So this distance in here is 10, this distance in here is 10. So when I work out, when I cut a piece of steel and I roll it up at 100 mil, it comes out with the, the mean size here, the mean diameter, at 100 millimetres. Now what say I want the internal to be 100 millimetres across this point here? So if that's the case, what I have to do is I make it 100 millimetres diameter and I need to add a material thickness, half either side, so that we get this line in at this point here. So it's half either side, material thickness, times pi. So now we have 120 millimetres because we'll be using uh, 20 millimetre thick steel just on the calculator times... Uh, do it again, turn the calculator on, always helps. Times pi gives me a cut size here of 376. Uh, it's actually 0.99, so I'm going to go 377. So if I went and cut a piece of steel at 377 and rolled it up, I would find it's now 100 millimetres in at this point here, 10 mil either side, so it's 120 around here, and that's what I had to times it by to get that size. Now let's say I want to go and get it to fit inside something so it's 100 mil across the outside. Well, what do we have to do? We have to minus a material thickness now. Times it by pi, and that'll give us our circumference. So now we've got 100 minus 20 is 80 times pi, gives us a cut size of 251 millimeters. So, this is the mean diameter, or mean circumference. This was the external, and this is the internal. So, if we go back to the, the ring, the distance around this line here, on the drawing being the longest one, is 377 millimetres. The distance around this line here is 314 millimetres. And the distance around the internal one for a cut size of 100 mil comes out at 251. Now that's a really curious thing because I'm going to go and cut a piece of steel. If I cut it and it's 20 mil thick at 100 mil, it gives me 314.2. And you, I've got this longer length here at 377, and I've got a shorter length here at 251. Theoretically, the piece of steel actually looks like that. 251, 377, with a mean length through the middle at 314.2 millimetres. Now clearly we're not doing that. We're cutting our piece of steel like that. So what's happening with it? Well, as you roll it, the material on the inside of the mean line, this portion through here is shrinking, it's being crushed in. The material on the outside of the main line, this portion right around the outside here, is stretching. So whenever you work out a dimension, if you want to go over something, you must add the material thickness to it before you times it by pi to get your cut length. 
if you want to go inside something, you must minus the material thickness. So whatever you're making, you need to determine whether you're going over it or inside it. And then you just plus or minus your material thickness to, to determine your cut size. So it's pretty straightforward, really. Uh, you might have to look at that a couple of times just to get your head around it. Even if you're rolling a piece of steel, let's say you've got a piece of steel that's 50 millimetre thick, and you're going to roll it up. It's hard to imagine that that portion around the outside is actually shrinking and that the portion on the inside is being stretched. But that's actually what happens. It's the physics of what's actually happening. You don't want to think about it too much. You simply need to add or minus your material thickness before you actually do your job. I'll leave it there. Thank you.